Peace. This is Watch for Watch Words Media. Back at y'all for another round. And this past weekend, we saw Shakur Stevenson taking on Artiturian, who the last time we saw him, he fought uh, Frank Martin. And that was a very difficult fight for Frank Martin. At times, it looked like he was going to get Frank Martin his first loss before Tank got to him. But in any event, this fight was supposed to be a good fight for Shakur Stevenson to come back home in front of his home base crowd in Newark, New Jersey, and show the fans, like, yeah, you know, I still got it. I'm still that guy. And, you know, unfortunately, it didn't play out that way because uh, there just wasn't enough engaging. You know, the first couple rounds, Shakur... It was, you know, typical in typical fight fashion. You know, you take a couple rounds. If you don't really know the opponent like that, you never sparred with him or anything like that, you know, you got to fill out, take take some time, download some information. And once he, once he got comfortable, once he had downloaded enough information, he was like, all right, but. And Shakur started to turn it up a little more, was in the pocket more in the middle rounds. And his grandfather, Wally Moses, who is his trainer, was in the corner, like, pleading for him to get the knockout. But Shakur didn't impress for the knockout. He didn't go for it. And, you know, it just, by, the, by like, the ninth, tenth round, unfortunately, a lot of people started hitting for the exits. It was a bad look, you know. And, you know, I, I really like Shakur Stevenson. I think, and I said it before, I'll say it again, he's he's the fighter that's going to beat Tank Davis. He's going to give Tank Davis his first defeat. Um, I know stylistically it doesn't seem that way. It seems like Tank is going to be too, you know, too overwhelming for him. But I think Shakur Stevenson's style is tailor-made for Tank Davis. I think his height, the fact that he utilizes his jab. And one of the things that got him compared to Floyd Mayweather very early is his reflexes. He has those cat-like reflexes like Floyd Mayweather does. And I think if he could hit and not get hit and not care about what the crowd thinks, um, he can put together a game plan to win 12 rounds against Tank. But in any event... Um, it looks like after this fight, the fight that he is pressing more for is the Lomachenko fight first. And I think Lomachenko would be a little more difficult than Tank because Lomachenko is also a fellow lefty. And Lomachenko is going to give him angles that he hasn't seen. See, Tank Davis is seek and destroy. He's going to come forward. Lomachenko is going to be using angles. So I think that fight is going to be very difficult for, for Shakur. I still think Shakur Stevenson wins it. But we'll see. You know, it wasn't that great of a return bout for Shakur. But he is a free agent now. Now that he's a free agent, we'll see what's next for him. Because... He has the ability now to work with PBC, to work with the zone, and it will be pretty much where he feels, or he can stay right here in top rank, but where he feels he's going to get the best fight or best fights moving forward. Or he can do what, you know, guys like Miguel Cotto, Canelo, and most recently Devin Haney has done, and that is remain a free agent do these one fight deals if you like the business you're doing do another fight with them but now that you have an established name even though that name's taking a hit um but now that your name's established now you can kind of take more control of your destiny take more control of your finances because you are an attraction you've built your name already and you know, it's it's just uh, just a matter of who can give him the best fights that he's been looking for.
So, yep, that's all I got for now. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.